Jesus says, Show mercy and teach your children the same, and I will protect you. May 24, 2017 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie The Lord began. I want to speak to the nation of America tonight. Because you have not spurned your connections with Israel, but have courted her favor and even gone beyond, because of that I declare that I am your defense, your security and your strong arm. because you have elected a man after my own heart for this nation, not a perfect man by my standards or anyone else's, but suited to govern this nation and look out for my interests. Because of this, I will be your defense against your enemies, America. Many are those who wish to bring disaster upon you, Many are those who prepare traps and snares for you. More powerful than your own resources are the ones coming against you. But because you have joined yourself to my holy nation, imperfect as it is as well, for this reason your enemies will not have their way with you. What is still lacking is repentance from your worldly ways. However, you have run to the aid of those oppressed in this world, and for this reason I will train you in the ways of repentance. You have looked after the fatherless, the orphan and the widow, those oppressed unjustly in prison, and for this reason I continue to train you in repentance and abandoning your lust for power, and accumulated goods. Be ever so vigilant that as your wealth increases, so do your good deeds to those who have no recourse in this world, but cry out to me, because you hearken to those severely oppressed and suffering. I will hearken to you, that your enemies do not have their way with you, but you must continue to remember the poor in their destitution and train your children up in holy, unselfish ways, contributing to the welfare of the poor as an act of mercy daily in their lives. Yes, train your children in mercy, and mercy shall be given you. Do not allow your children to bully or make fun of the disadvantaged in their community and schools. Do not allow them to laugh at or taunt those who have not and those with life-challenging handicaps. Teach your children to look out for them, even as your Father in heaven looks out for you. Then I shall protect them from the snares set to entangle and destroy them in their youth. Many traps are set for your children. The enemy makes their demise one of the most pressing of his agendas, and there is little you can do to protect them, besides prayer. But if you teach them to look out for the poor, to be kind to the socially disadvantaged, to defend the rights of those who are mocked and hated, if you turn their hearts to this kind of response, I will lead them away from these traps. But if you see them as merely an extension of your life goals and envision them as selfishly pursuing a career to your and their own benefit and turning a deaf ear to the suffering, then they shall indeed be led into captivity by your enemies. To the degree you train them in mercy, to that degree will mercy be given them. For too long, your agenda has been prosperity, 
And there are those among you who, having attained that prosperity, wish to go from money-making success to the next money-making success. And they roll their eyes when donations to missions are called for. They are living on very dangerous ground for both themselves, their marriages and children. I am calling you to repent and see to the needs of those around you. Then your light shall arise like the noonday sun. Open your hearts to the poor and see if I do not open heaven's windows to you, windows of graces and provision for your souls to be enriched with the true riches.